The Kia EV6. I believe it is a magnificent car. I love it. The performance version, holy moly, it lays the smack down on ice. But if you weren't paying attention to this video, you probably wouldn't know that it even produced a single one. So what's going on at Kia? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to have you here on the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else to the year of 2022, the year of great things. This is going to be the year where, you know, this is the tipping point this year. There's a book behind me called The Tipping Point. If you haven't read it, you should read it. It will show you what I'm talking about. Malcolm Gladwell talks about what happens in an industry when it hits the tipping point. We may have even hit it last year, but without any doubt whatsoever, this is the year that we will hit that point in many markets across the world. Now, the question is, will Kia be on the right side of history? Well, you would think with this incredible, impressive EV, it's a bit budget, a little bit like, um, yeah, I'll, I don't know Kia, but it's just, it's like white goods on wheels. It's like a fridge. It's sort of boring. It's not that interesting. Kia has just never really appealed to me. There was no other emotion with them. But to me, this car is the perfect combination of emotion and logic put together in the one package. It looks good. It's a practical shape and size. It's got power, performance. It's the kind of car I'd be more than happy to own. Kia, putting my hand up, by the way. You probably hate this channel, though, because Legacy Auto hates this channel, I'm sure. The only car company I've been contacted by is BYD, by the way. And that is to test some of their cars, by the way, not to be paid a single cent. And I'll never plan on receiving a single cent from any automaker ever. Just so you know that, putting it out there, it's not going to happen. I'll always keep objectivity here on this channel. So Kia, what are they doing? Well, they sold some EV6s this year. I mean, sorry, not this year, in 2021. But who would have known? I mean, seriously, who would have known? Because not very many were made. Now, Kia reported they sold 209,000 cars in December across the world. That's a decrease of 4% year over year due to supply chain disruptions. In 2021, the total volume improved to 2.8 million, up 6.5% year over year. Now, I personally think they could have improved that to 3.5 million last year if they had been prepared for the electric revolution and not calling Tesla cars toys back in 2018. Yes, they did say that. Sorry, parent company Hyundai said that. Same difference, right? Now, the most important new Kia model from the perspective of electrification by far is the Kia EV6. And it's ramping up at several thousand per month, which to be honest, I have to say, I like to be positive, but I'm very disappointed. Several thousand a month. Yeah, come on. In December, Kia reported 5,600 sales. That includes 1,500 in South Korea and 4,100 exported. Now that is less than some very small EV startups in China. In fact, significantly less. In fact, that number is minuscule on a global scale, especially when literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people would like to buy this car. Now, cumulatively, how many did they sell in 2021, or at least how many did they deliver? Almost 30,000, out of which about one third were sold in South Korea. Two thirds were exported, pretty much all of those to Europe. Now, the strange thing is, if you look at the graph here from inside EVs, it doesn't even look like their production is increasing. In fact, it looks like, if anything, production is decreasing. I mean, production in October was significantly higher than November, and December was lower than it was in the first month of production and also in the second and third months. So in other words, after five months of production, production for the car has actually declined. So this is a good, a really good illustration to you guys of how Legacy Auto can't just pivot magically into selling millions of EVs or even hundreds of thousands of EVs. It's much harder than you think. I mean, this is from a company who know they have a great product, right? They know there's tremendous demand for this car. They know it right now. And yet, even after five months on sale, they haven't been able to actually increase production at all from these figures that I can see here. 
Perfect illustration. Show this to the Toyota brand fans who say that Toyota are going to magically pivot within 12 months. Their entire industry is going to be EV if, if that's where the market goes, because who knows if it's going to go that way. I mean, these guys still believe that stuff. So give them this, show them this chart and show them the key EV6 is way better than any EV Toyota has planned for the next 12 months. It's a much better vehicle. If Toyota have come out with this car, the key EV6, the global media would be going bonkers saying how amazing it was, but they didn't. They came out with a to be honest, a pretty vanilla, pretty bland looking electric car, which is also extremely slow in terms of, I know people don't care about the pace of EVs, but a lot of people don't. But the reality is it's still a talking point, still a selling point. It still does matter in certain situations as well. Now, Kia reports 2,900 sales of the EV6 in December in Europe and over 8,000 total in the second half of 2021. Retail sales of the Seoul EV and the nearer EV outside of South Korea amounted to 732 and 5,340. Now in 2021, how many electric cars did Kia sell? Well, they sold 87,000 total BYD sold in one month. Now, if you want to just exclude the plug-in hybrids that BYD sold, then that's how many BYD sold in the last two months of the year in China alone. So in 2021, Kia sold 19,000 EV6s, 11,000 in South Korea, and 8,000 outside. Nero EV, they sold 59,000. Seoul EV 9,400 for a total of 87,900. I believe they could have sold 2 million EVs if they had been prepared. Now, this is what Inside EV says, and I read this and I had to laugh a little bit. In 2022, Kia should be able to easily double the all-electric car sales and progress from there with multiple new eGMP-based models added in the next few years. So let's say they easily double sales. Let's say they more than double them. They sold 88,000. Let's say they go to 200,000. That's way more than double. 200,000, right? What's that? 8% of their total global production is going to be EVs. Best case scenario in 2022. That, my friends, is planning to fail. That is not good enough. Honestly, that is the kind of information where you've got to say, do you invest in this company? Probably not. Do you think they're going to succeed? At that rate, no, absolutely not. We don't know how many EVs though. Fortunately, for Kia's sake, they plan to produce this year. Hopefully it is way more than double because if it's not, then they're going to be left behind in the race. Now let, you, let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think I'm being crazy? Am I being too critical on Kia? I mean, hey, on the one hand, remember, I am saying they've got a fantastic car. On the other hand, I'm saying fantastic product, not making them. That's pretty stupid, honestly. I find it hard to be too kind on a company in this situation when they have panned Tesla in the past. They do deserve some level of criticism for being in the current situation they find themselves in. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye-bye.